All right, so I just got done with my first week here in Brazil. And as you see in the pictures, I injured my eye just a little bit. And uh, I couldn't train with the team for most of the week. So Monday I was training with the team for most of the training. And then we opened up to 11v11 and literally it happened like two seconds into the, into the 11v11, just an accident, an elbow to the eye. Uh, so it started bleeding, started, you know, got that cut. Um, and now it's finally closed, but it was opened up for a little while. I had like a band-aid on my eye and I couldn't see. They took me to their little like hospital here, but I just chose not to get stitches because I felt like it would heal up pretty okay. And it, I guess it has. Uh, and like I said, it's almost done. So yesterday I did train with the team. Yesterday was Friday. Uh, we just did some rondos and some crossing and finishing. So very easy training, very light training. And then actually today I am going to Brazil's most famous stadium the Maracanã. So I'll take you guys along with me. I'll show you guys how that is going. We're going to go see Fluminense versus Santos. So let's get going. So we've just taken the elevator up to the suite level and as you can see it's very nice, very clean and quiet. We will be heading over to these doors with the lights on them and I'll be showing you the suite and then I'll let you see the stadium and hear the crowd. So let's go. This is the Maracanã, Brazil's most legendary stadium and it was built in 1950 for the World Cup and has hosted the 1950 and 2014 World Cup Finals. It's a stadium with rich history, not just with World Cups but games like these every single year in Syria and there are two main teams that play here, Fluminense which is who we are watching today and Flamengo. Usually the crowd is a bit bigger and crazier for Flamengo. It's a stadium embedded into the Brazilian hearts and anytime you get to go here to watch a football match, it's a great day. I mean it's beautiful, just look at how cool this stadium is. Everyone is so involved and just listen to all the singing and cheering here in these clips. Inside the suite, as you saw, they have a bunch of food and snacks in the suite. The suite itself is incredible and makes the experience that much more special. We got tickets from our director of football at Serrano, so big shout out to Octavio for the tickets. Let's continue with the second half and see how crazy these guys get.
All in all, I'm sure you could see the passion, you could see the pure love and joy for the game. It's crazy to be in a stadium with a crowd like this. It's just an incredible atmosphere. Fluminense ended up defeating Santos 1-0, so the home fans were excited to say the least. And I'll definitely be back here for some more exciting games, and I can't wait to come back. It was one of the best stadiums I've ever went to. Thanks for watching. Really hope you enjoyed seeing this crowd and the stadium. I'll see you all in the next episode of The Journey in Brazil.